Then you go blink a shayan. It doesn't work. Okay. Shahyan Tahseen okay. from RTV. And your question? I have two questions. Uh, my first question is regarding the Yazidi kidnapped girls who escaped from ISIS, fortunately, and came back home. Uh, do you have any plans uh, to provi provide them with the help they need? If yes, uh, would you like to declare them? And uh, number two, since this is not your first time visiting Dohok, uh, how do you evaluate the role of Dohok governorates in uh, supporting and helping dealing with IDP and refugees uh, file? Thank you very much. I'm sorry, your first question was about whether we had any uh, about the women who'd recently escaped from ISIS mm -hmm. and when there were any plans to help them. Uh, well, of course, for for I'm. Um, we're here to appeal for, for more assistance for all of the people here, especially the most vulnerable and, and victims of abuse. Um, there's not uh, enough, I, I will certainly do what I can personally, but there's not enough, uh, you know, this is, a, this is a giant international crisis and it needs giant international aid and attention. Um, what this woman uh, is more concerned about, less her, her own um, uh, personal safety, um, but in fact, she said she wished she didn't escape because her daughter is still there. Um, so, so I will I will follow up on the situation. But as long as uh, the war in Syria continues, and as long as ISIS is able to be as strong as it is, um, these uh, these people are in danger, and and more people unfortunately will be kidnapped and 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 harmed. Um, for uh, for my view of the camp, it has. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it is extraordinary how we were speaking about this earlier and I was speaking with the governor about um, how it's been managed. It is, if, if you look at the numbers and the amount of people, um, and if you look around you, this is an, an impossible, it almost seems impossible to manage. Uh, the people here are so uh, peaceful, thoughtful, grateful. Um, they're helping to manage themselves. They've come up with many ideas. They're very coordinated and they're working very hard and they're very understanding, which is also exceptional, of uh, the limitations because of the lack of funding. So they are hoping for more. They are in need, but they are, um, uh, you know, they, they are looking around them and they realize how many families are in need and they are trying to share uh, with each other. One woman even mentioned to me today that she didn't want to uh, ask for more aid because she felt that the neighbor who had so many children needed it more than she did. So that's the, the kind of people that are making it possible uh, to, to keep it calm and stable here. Uh, بشكل هيك مديتي هطانو كا كو سيدا فارس غير دوك جالك جوابك مازني ساكن في خلكي وهاري كاريوا كري هاري كاريوا جالك مازنا مقررات جالك جهات دي لكن يمكن بين في كم بيب جالك مازنا ساكن بكت شان شكلك جاني هوت دانان شان خلكي كي تداي زورا أف خلكي راس جالك باشا وجالك خلكي كي يسالما بس أف خلكي بتره جه هاري كاريه جين كي آفرت اگر بود من دید متقل آخفت بود من دیار کرد که چند خوشی تدا بورین چند مازم بون اوی ند یا مالا خوب لیتن چون که که چوه نن مال بو گل اگر نخوشی تو اکی وی تین و زده تر این شوال جی گل اگر مال تین نخوشی تر و مازم تر یه تین از بیش موا که من دویتن پتر هاری کاری بکم پتر او دی چاوه که مازم ساکم اوی خلکی هر پرمابر اگر جه که ها بیتن دی هاری کاری بوی تدا ب Okay, that was the second question. But let me just add to the response to the first question that the UNHCR and some of our sister agencies and NGOs offer psychosocial counselling to the victims of atrocities and, and other abuses. In relation to the evaluation of the Dohuk Governorate, I'm certainly not here today to tell the Governor <laughs> about his performance over the past six months. Let me just say that if you look across the whole of the country of the Republic of Iraq. No governorate has been more challenged, no governorate has received and been so generous in hosting refugees and displaced people. I think uh, personally that this is not time to start worrying about evaluations. There is a time, there will be a time to look at how we did it, to make sure we learn 
from how we did it in case it ever happens again and to share lessons with others. But here today, I will say that I'm, I'm absolutely amazed and pleased with the work that has been done by the governor, by the leadership that the governor has shown, by the work of all his staff in coordinating the agencies and the NGOs who are here to support the authorities in relieving suffering amongst the displaced. Thank you.